Hey everybody, it's Willy Wonka. I mean, Jesse Kern with Keller Williams Legacy Group Realty. You're singing Realtor. Welcome home. So before I get into the August 2023 market update, my next client appreciation event is coming up. A chocolate tasting party. Tuesday, September 19th, this coming Tuesday, 6 to 8 p.m. at the venue in Valley Junction. That's in West Des Moines. And the chocolate storybook is going to do the chocolate. If you want to attend, let me know ASAP. Because I've already given a chocolate count to the chocolate storybook. And if I need to change that, I need to know it ASAP. And I'm doing a $300 drawing to the chocolate storybook. If you know someone that's thinking about buying, selling, or investing in real estate, send them my way and I'll put your name in the hat. There's three prizes, $100, $300, and $25. That's a little out of order, but the big prize is $300. And they're all to the chocolate storybook. All right, without further ado, here's our August 2023 market update. So in the month of August, we had an increase in active listings by 4.5%. That's for Dallas and Polk counties, which is the bulk of the Des Moines, Iowa metro. Pending, the number of houses that accepted offers went down almost 16%. That is typical for the month of August because of back to school and the state fair. The number of solds went up 7.5%. The number of expires went down almost 8%. Average days on market came down 18%. So it was 43 days on market, which that's not that long when the 50 year average is like six months. The average absorption pricing index, so this is the number of months of inventory, it's still three. July it was three, August is still three. So if we have zero to three months of inventory, that's still a seller's market. So overall, we're still in a seller's market here. Now it's not hot off the press, sell in the first few hours like it was 20, 21 and 2022, but it is still a seller's market even though rates are pretty much near 7%. Now you got to remember, interest rates are always determined by your personal credit worthiness. When you see an advertised number, that's based off like 700 credit score and a certain amount down. Really the main highlight is that the number of pendings went down both for Dallas and Polk County is about 16% for both of those counties. Our average price for the two counties for the month of August went down a little bit by two, almost two and a half percent for $357,621 is the average price. Now that includes new construction, which always brings that number up. What that means for you, basically it's still a great time to sell and it's a good time to buy. Buyers are getting good deals. Sellers are getting good deals. It's kind of, it is wonky, Willy Wonka in the sense that it's by market niche. For example, I've got a West Des Moines townhome that's hot seller's market, one and a half months of inventory. Then luxury listings are setting longer because there's a lot fewer buyers in that 7% interest rate bracket that can purchase those homes. So if you have questions about your part of town, your house, if you're thinking of selling, or if you're thinking of buying, message me, direct message on Facebook, call me, however you wanna reach out to me, text me, happy to discuss with you what's in your best interest for your housing needs and have a blessed day.